Macedo speaking to you from LiveMacedo.com, who's Live Macedo and Think Personal Branding. The date is November 12, 2017. Time right now is 4.50 in the evening. All right. <laughs> I got this question from a youngster who, who, who is asking me uh, tips, tricks, and strategies for falling in love. Now, well, if you're in India and you fall in love, all you have to do, you know, if you're in India, you fall in love or you want to fall in love or you want to know the experience of falling in love, just watch a Bollywood movie. You will see the guy sees the girl, the girl sees the guy, the guy's dressed up like, you know, spiky hair and, you know, his shirt is open. He has a perfect chest, six pack abs and he has amazing, like, uh, you know, these actors, Rithik Roshan and all that. And uh, Shah Rukh Khan, who's old enough to be someone's father, dressing up like a college boy. And, you know, they come flex their muscles. And, and the girl, she has perfect figure and she has, you know, lovely curves and lovely assets all over her hair is really long and she's well to do and you know the colors are so bright and you know the guy and the girl see each other suddenly ding 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 you know this song they start singing the songs and he starts dancing and is perfectly moving like you know like a brick dancer and she's also dancing in such a way and the you know the lighting is great and uh, you know there is uh, uh, a hit song and you know everyone does and then when you see the same song being played in a club you say bunda, 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 bunda. <laughs> it's a, oh goodness it's so uh, i mean embarrassing to see girls who are so big and so huge with sweaty underarms and trying to look cool with some you know as if they're getting spasms and fits you know as if they're dying of uh, this way and the the guys who are trying to dance school look like a couple of accountants who uh, went to the club for the first time so it's it's pretty ridiculous now if you think that love is what you see in the indian movies i can't breathe without you i will die without you oh i want to kiss your lips and all that that's not love Okay, uh, what you need to understand first and foremost is the, the, the glamorous side, the commercial side of what they show a, a love in the uh, movies or, uh, you know, the valentine, the heart, the flowers, all this is absolute BS, bullshit, okay? Uh, if you're looking for the real side of love, the actual real side of love, that is something that is not at all romantic, that is very practical. It's, it's more like what a mother has to a child. Um, seeing the happiness that the child shows in his or her face. It's more like what a father has for his family. These sacrifices, let me drink some water. These sacrifices are not at all romantic. So if you are looking at the mature definition for love, uh, love is a everyday act of sacrifice in which you you dedicate your whole life um, you sacrifice your complete self for the happiness of someone else without without uh, pleasure romance sex none of it okay so that is the true definition of falling in love of love Whatever you see, this magical thing, this beautiful bodies, the, the sexual steamy scenes which they show in uh, movies where the bodies are perfect. Like, for example, if you see some of the movies, the bodies are toned and there's very little fat and the skin is gleaming dark brown and um, the romantic scenes, the scenes are pretty intense in bed. Um, you, it's more like perfume. and But the real... In the real world, it's it's more like you got you know blobs of fat all over, and uh, you're pretty sweaty, it's smelly, and it's not that romantic. Uh, in fact, uh, the real world, you will have a lot of stress, a lot of problems, a lot of issues. You will not even feel like having sex. So, what is it to fall in love? Love is not at all that magical thing that they show in Hollywood or Bollywood. It's nothing got to do with good looks. It's nothing got to do with uh, romance. No, that's all the byproduct of commercialism, okay? Um, 
And keep this in mind, if you have a relationship that has too much of sex in the beginning of the relationship, it is guaranteed to break, it is guaranteed to fail. If you have too much of sex in the beginning of the relationship or you know the first two years, it will break because that's the only reason you both got into it in the first place. Um, what I define uh, love as uh, intelligent, uh, intelligent logical decision whereby you cherry pick your partner based on certain logical criteria, make sure that she perfectly fits based on your your analytical or your uh, your your sense of evaluating a person's character and uh, you know where your expectations the expectations are really really low and then it's easier to surpass them and keep the person happy uh, he, when you fall in love one of the most important things you need to keep in mind is money is the most de facto important aspect of uh, keeping making a relationship work money is very important whether you like it or not because if you do not have money uh, after you get married and when you have to pay your bills and you have a child uh, you will be in one part of the world your partner will be in another part of the world your child will be with your parents some back home so if you have the money you all can stay together as one unit one family have decent life have your child go to a decent school uh, have decent uh, you know luxuries but if you don't have the cash if you don't have the cash and say you know money is not important love is important fine then the husband that is why you see uh, many Asians where the husband is working in Middle East or in uh, a foreign country somewhere wife is working in another country somewhere and the child is in Asia so that's how that's where money comes into play money is very very important uh, at least that's what I see uh, the other thing is uh, you need to understand that if you do fall in love when you are in your 20s, uh, when you're, uh, you know, when you're young, uh, by the time you reach uh, your 30s, you both will have a disconnect. Yes, there are a few relationships which the guy and girl have known each other for 40 years or 50 years from the age of uh, 12 or 10 and, you know, they're married until the age of 18, 90. Uh, those relationships work out because the guy and the girl, the man and the woman, have not evolved at all. They have not changed at all. They have not upgraded themselves. They're still the same. They watch the same programs, meet the same people, go to the same house. Everything is the same. They have not changed one bit. But if you're talking of someone who's creative, someone who constantly evolves, constantly changes, uh, you'll never be the same person you were when you're in your 20s. Um, like, for example, me, when I look back uh, at the days when I was in my 20s, I mean, I would not even meet this guy. In my 30s, I was a different guy. Today, in my 40s, I'm a totally different person. And I would say now, at the age of 40, I'm reaching the real Loy Macedo that I'm supposed to be. So when I look back at the girls I dated when I was 16, today, I would not even look in that direction. I mean, they're they are just not my type. Uh, I have changed from 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. The programs that I used to watch, the people I used to hang around with, the stuff that I used to like, the things that I used to do, every five years changed. Uh, is there a possibility I might change in the next 10 years? Yes, of course. Is there a possibility that I might go for a divorce? Yes, of course. Uh, if me and my wife don't see eye to eye, if we both don't uh, get along, if there's no respect, if you're fighting, why not? Because this 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 myth or this man-made rule that marriage is for life is, is total BS. And today, given the fact that you have social media, you have so many temptations, you have options and choices, people keep wanting to change. And keep this in mind, if a guy and girl have sex uh, with some other partner and then they, then you both have met together, the very fact that you have had sex with somebody else, you will change, you will change. Uh, just because you're in a relationship now doesn't mean it's gonna succeed and survive. So keep this in mind that falling in love, this so-called falling in love, if you fell in love, you can fall out of love. Uh, and feelings are variables. Like today you might like to eat pizza, tomorrow you might like to eat something else. Uh, try this. Eat a pizza every day, every day, morning, afternoon, evening, um, you know, seven days a week, three, six, five days a year. At some point you'll get so disgusted, you never want to see pizza. Just as people's taste and preferences change from mobile phones to cars to technology to lifestyle to personality to improvement, uh, you know, their, their choices of partners and preferences also change. Now, I'm not saying everybody's the same, 
but most of them are. That is why today, uh, in today's day and age, you have the highest number of divorces that ever takes place because uh, people have realized, well, I have so many other options. I have so many other better choices. Why should I stick with someone? And so keep this in mind also. And another thing which I want you to be uh, very aware of, the fact that uh, nothing is permanent, even in relationships. And uh, never, ever, ever accept a relationship and stick to it just for whatever reason, whether it's for your child, whether it's for whatever. Because uh, having a relationship that is making your life worst, that is making your life miserable, that is, you know, destroying your peace of mind, it's not worth having that relationship. I've had four marriages, this is my fourth. And uh, I'll tell you for a fact that, um, uh, you know, Every relationship, I've had more than 450 relationships and every relationship has been even better than the previous one. And right now, the woman that I have is truly really the best because I really made a logical, smart choice while choosing her. So, uh, you know, falling in love, you wanted my tips? Well, this is what it is. Um, remember, sex, attraction, pleasure, romance, all this, all this will die out. The only thing that will remain is, um, most important is, First and most important is the money that is there in the relationship. If you both have the money, then 90% of your problems are over. The second one is obviously you need to, you know, you need to get along with each other. The communication, the charisma, the honesty, the trust, that is very, very important. If that is not there, uh, you know, the transparency. And yes, the drive and desire to make the relationship work, that 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 is also pretty important. So these are some of my tips for falling in love. Um, also, be very aware as a matter of caution. Do not share any data. Do not share any information that, uh, let's say, your nude pictures or uh, steamy videos or even, you know videos of you having sex, your email address, your passwords. Remember, anytime a person can just use this against you or just run away with it. I've uh, been on the uh, rough end of this. Uh, and I could have used it against so many of my female partners. I never did it. So, uh, yeah. And a couple of red flags if your partner fights with you every single time. Most important is if your partner raises his or her hand against you, then that relationship is not meant to be. If the person cannot be trusted, if the person is very nosy asking where you're gone, what you're doing, uh, if the person has to check your phone and all that crap, that, that immature behavior, that is absolutely retarded. And those are red flags. So please be careful of this and remember, there's more to a relationship than just love and romance. Your personalities matter a lot. And uh, the day-to-day -day grind of being with each other takes its toll. So I hope these pointers help you. Any questions, let me know. LloydLloydMacedo.com. I'd love to answer them for you. If you'd like to donate to my channel and support me, please, LloydLloydMacedo.com through PayPal, $1 to $5, $10, anything. Uh, and yes, if you want my professional advice or services, go to thinkpersonalbranding.com. Uh, like my video, share it, subscribe. This is Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com saying goodbye for now. Take care.